So, of course, joining this webinar isn't just about learning about of self-care and greed. It's also about winning exciting prizes. So, for our first prize tonight, we will be giving a 10% discount on our CPA review program and mobile app and plus premier merchandise. So, she is no other than our first registrant. Ms. Jade, Ms. Jade Denise Paragas from Adamson University. So Jade, if you are there, please say hi through the chat. Are you there? Okay, I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two. I guess Jade is not with us tonight, so we will be giving the prize to our second registrant. Who is no other than Ms. Ranaline Rojas of New Era University. Hi, Ranaline, are you there? Please also say hi via chat. Hello. Hello. So, for our winner, for our first winner, we have Ranaline Rojas of New Era University. Please keep in touch for your prize. So, enough with the introduction. This time, I will ask our guest lecturer, APC, from PPP.ph to introduce herself, her organization, and to run this lecture. APC. Okay, so good evening, everyone. My name is Alexandria Blake Real, or also known as ABC. I'm... Good evening, good evening po. Seven. Yes. Okay, good evening. Okay. So, I'm a college instructor from the University of Northern Philippines. I'm as well a student from St. Louis University. But um, most of you might know me as the founder of the PPP or the Psychologist, Psychometrician, and People of the Philippines. It's an online page advocating mental health. And currently, as of now, we have an advocacy Online by online hand. Okay, so enough with that introduction. Um, I am here to tell you how to survive at home. Okay, so but before that, let us check the profile of the participants para lang at least alam natin yung kung sino sino yung mga nandito. Let's see the slide. I hope you can see. Yan. Okay, so for the profile of respondents, most of you here, I believe, are undergraduate students and the rest are reviewees. Some are first takers while some are retakers. Okay. So apart from that, most of you are also at home, staying at home with your immediate family kasi di ba iba iba naman tayo ng mga setup. And then, um, secondly, most of you, or the second one is, you are staying at home with your relatives. Tapos yung iba naman, um, the least are, you're in your dormitories with your roommates and dormitories by yourself. So I also believe na most of you are mas gamay sa classroom mode learning, sa physical setting yun. And then, next is the second one, sa independent learning through online platforms naman yun. It's virtual naman siya. Apart from that, the least is konti lang yung may gamay ng self-review, pag sa self-review. Okay. So, bakit kaya natin kailangan tong mga profile na to? Um, because later on, you'll try to, you will understand um, that grit and self-care is something more of a personal thing rather than of generalizing what to do. Okay. So, let's start. Yeah. So, since the outbreak of coronavirus, a lot of people had already reported to have established um, panic, like panic, panic buying, panic returning back home, ano pa? panic from pandemic as a whole. 
which resulted to create fear or anxiety or end anxiety. So this crisis along the COVID-19 does not only affect one's physical health, but also economical, political, social dimension of one's being. But mostly, it's affecting us mentally, yung mental health natin. So, actually nga, if you have watched um, the first Filipino COVID-19 patient or the patient 4 in the Philippines even said na yung battle daw against COVID-19 is psychological than of physical. So, if you remember naman, um, before you have registered, we conducted a survey. So, data has been consolidated um, and it was found out that 74.3% of you, the students and reviewers, are affected psychologically due to COVID-19 pandemic. So, parang medyo alarming na talaga yun, no? So, although there's a thick line identifying whether the impact of pandemic has adversely affected you or has affected you negatively, a factor that affected your mental health is mostly the exposure on media and technology. So, that's about 69.2%. While other factors, over 50% that affect them were physical health, um, environment, relationships with others, pa? education, attitude and behavior of oneself, and also financial security. So the list naman, the list factors that affect their mental health were community security, which is 29.6%, and housing, which is 15.4%. Okay. So, yun yung list. Pero it doesn't mean na wala siyang um, effects sa ating mental health. So, meron pa rin. Okay. So, kung, kung the housing is only 15.4%, why do we need to know how to survive at home. You know, when the results show housing is the least factor that directly affects our mental health. So the answer is simple. Because we all stay at home. Okay? But unlike before, if you could remember, mga nangyayari pa noon, we are already facing now the new normal for good. And anything people do are all based at home. So to some, homes aren't actually um, a home, di ba? Kasi dapat para sa atin, home is supposedly like um, a safe place for all. But it's not the case sa iba, okay? It's not the case. For example, children abused by their parents, di ba? Children being harassed by their relatives. Is all, can also happen. What else? Physical abuse between partners. Or simply, um, the things they do now aren't the usual things they do. And people may tend to parang get bored or are hard up to adjust with the current situation we are in. So, because of that, they want to go back and return to the usual normal, yung mga nakagawian natin, kumbaga. But the question there is, are we even going to return back to that usual normal na nakagawian na natin? So, even with predictions or set of assumptions of what might happen, no one among us is sure of what's going to happen right after the community quarantine. So, are we going back to normal or should we prepare ourselves with the new normal? And what's the new normal, by the way, di ba? Yun yung mga tanong natin sa sarili natin. Pero, yun nga, we only have set of assumptions but that we are not 
100% sure of what's really going to happen. Kasi all we know is that our goal is to flatten the curve and wait for a vaccine to be discovered to obtain a COVID free nation while doing doing the things that we should do. Our responsibilities such as as a student or to some as a working students plus yung responsibilities din natin sa loob ng bahay. So, kumbaga, unlike before na most na para sa iba, yung oras nila ay nandun sila sa loob ng classrooms nila. Ngayon, since we were already restricted to go outside from our homes, parang nag adjust na tayo inside our homes. So, because we stay at home longer than ever, one of our sources to connect is social media. And many mental issues are being brought about by users of various social media platforms. And most of these users belong to age group of 18 to 24 in the Philippines, which is sino itong mga to? In our country, majority of these age groups are probably enrolled in colleges or universities. So, nakita ko din sa survey ninyo na parang sa mga problem ninyo is are mostly about academics. So, meron doon mga online classes, problema ninyo yung time ninyo kasi or yung internet connection ninyo. So, ayun, parang marami, nang, marami na tayong naiipon na problema. Hindi lamang sa loob ng bahay natin, but we are also thinking um, our responsibilities as a student. Na yun nga, mas pinapabigat, mas nagiging burden ito sa atin. And it can directly affect our mental health already. So, apparently, these students are greatly affected because they are the ones with higher exposure nga on internet. Um, most especially on social media platforms like Facebook or Messenger. Kasi bukod sa nire-require tayo ng ating mga professors, syempre it's also our way to connect to other people. So, and just because people are distanced from, from, uh, one another, it doesn't mean naman that they aren't already connected. Why? Because today's lives bring us a wider opportunity to get connected from people, even to those who we do not know, nga, diba? So in fact, social media plays a vital role in one's communication and the audience could be as big as our population. So, apart from radio stations and television, internet has become our source of information. Whether looking at the news or opinion, even um, such as in the case of coronavirus, it's our, it's our source of information, the internet. So, despite the fact na, yun nga, again, we play our roles as a student, workers, or whatnot, truth is, we are all centralized by this pandemic. So, some engage in, again, online classes, some works at home, or some of us are simply staying at home, probably scrolling on their Facebook feeds. But these are all because we were restricted to go outside um, of our homes for good. So, when I say home again, um, pinapalitan na natin yung definition nito because probably um, some of us are not staying dun sa talagang address natin but some of us are, might be staying at dormitory so it could still be um, considered as a home. So, yun. Our exposure, going back to media and technology has really have really um, greatly affected people psychologically. That's why um, we have to reach out from people. Yan, kasi parami na nang parami yung problema natin. And since isa sa mga problema na lumabas na nakaka-apekto sa ating mental health 
is media and um, technology. Paano yun? Eh, yun na nga lang yung only way natin to connect from other people that are far from us. So, yun. A lot of people are already encouraged. The good thing there, um, you're already encouraged to share how we feel staying at home. So, this is actually a good news for, especially for mental health advocates because it's becoming um, parang a small step to destigmatize yung mental health concerns. Kasi, meron kasing naka-attach na stigma sa atin or minsan dinidiscriminate natin yung mga taong nakikita natin yung sobrang down, mga depressed, ganyan as uh, weak persons and may tendency nga na parang nahihiya na itong mga taong ito para mag-open up kasi nga, ayun, masyado na natin nilalabel yung mga taong may mental health concerns bilang mga baliw, mga ganon. So, the good thing nga already here is that we are already encouraged to share how we feel staying at home. It's a good thing there. However, meron ding downside. While it's true that um, volunteers are already here and ready to reach out people who are in need of emotional support, not all who have mental health concerns seek out to mental health practitioners. Another problem is that we only have few mental health practitioners ready to attend, especially if there's an influx of um, clients where it already leaves na parang itong client na ito, madi-discourage na siya to look for an available practitioner already. Kasi, minsan yung mga clients na ito, ang gusto nila, um, since na kulang ang, ang finance nila, so may mga financial problem din sila, gusto nila pro bono yung mga services din ng ating mga mental health practitioners. Kaso, um, although some of the services online or yung pinatawag nating telepsychology or online counseling are really pro bono, limited naman yung offer din nitong mga practitioners na ito because they also should meet um, some ethical considerations or ethical standards based on our code of ethics. So yun, nakikita na natin yung mga good thing and the downside din naman of this. So this is why um, we have to know more about mental health. There's really a need for us to know about mental health kasi um, we have to understand how do we survive at home in a long period of time? Yun yung concern natin dito ngayon. Kasi hindi naman natin alam kung kailan matatapos itong pandemic na ito. ba? So how do we survive at home? We don't, again, we don't expect our mental health practitioners to be right there immediately for us. Kaya... We have to know about mental health because parang to have man lang sana yung an intervention para hindi tayo masyadong magiging dependent sa mga mental health practitioners natin. So, yes, let's talk about grief and self-care. So, these two concepts will help you cope up with challenges you are currently facing in Plus, it will also highlight how important it is to take care of yourselves too. So let's take, uh, let's talk first about grit. So what is grit? According to Angela Duckworth, grit involves working strenuously toward challenges, maintaining effort and interest over years despite failure, adversity, and plateaus in progress. So the gritty individual approaches achievement as a marathon. His or her advantage is the stamina. While disappointment or boredom may lead most people to change trajectory, the gritty individual stays at course. 
So what does this mean? This simply means that um, even if we are currently facing difficulties, a gritty person can still manage to perform well and have the courage to keep going no matter how no matter how unsure that person is to succeed. Diba? So, yun nga. Kahit gaano man parang kahirap yung buhay, this gritty person could still see things to pursue yung mga bagay na gusto niya. Pero, yun nga, mahi- I mean, super daling sabihin na okay, just go on, ganyan, ganyan. Pero, um, kapag masyado na, pag yung tao, sobra-sobra na siyang down. Mahirap itong gawin. So, this is why we have also to know how can people be gritty. So, grit is composed of both passion and perseverance. Passion is more of an internal emotional state, um, a strong inclination toward a self-defining activity that people like or even love, which they invest time and energy on a regular basis. So, the passion should be more of harmonious rather than obsessive. Kasi pag obsessive to, ginagawa mo lang ito para sa kapakanan mo. Okay? Parang, yun nga, masyado ko nang obsess para mangyari itong passion mo ito. Pero kapag harmonious ito, you don't only consider yourself, pero you also consider what um, what could be the result for the betterment of, if not everyone, karamihan. Okay, so, while perseverance naman is having persistent determination in the pursuit of goal. This means that passion is within a person's mind, while perseverance can be seen through action naman. But we have to take note that both of these components should always go together so that um, one's grit may be stronger. So, hindi po pwede, hindi ito grit kapag may passion ka pero wala kang perseverance or the other way around. For example, gusto mo ito, may passion ka, nakaset yun sa'yo. Pero, hindi ka gumagawa ng aksyon para mangyari ito. Wala ding mangyayari. Or, could be, meron kang perseverance, so gumagawa ka ng way para mangyari ito. Pero, hindi mo naman ito passion. Hindi mo naman ito gusto. So, again, kung may mangyayari man, hindi naman yun yung gusto mong mangyari or ma-achieve. Okay? So, next, here is an illustration to or from Angela Duckworth explaining how we can um, achieve our goals from our talents. So if you could see the slide, um, how can our skills be an achievement? Or I mean, how can our talent, a simple talent, can turn into an achievement? So, kapag binigyan natin ng extra effort, ang talent natin, magiging skill ito. And, itong skill na ito, kapag patuloy natin itong ginagamit with an effort, another extra effort, magiging achievement ito. Or, yun, ma-achieve natin yung gusto natin. Okay? Pero, again, mabilis sabihin na bigyan ito ng effort pero kapag yung isang tao ay nahihirapan uh, or pagod na, may fatigue yung isang tao, mahirap itong ma-achieve. Kaya nga, ang effort na ito, dapat meron itong kasamang grit. So, how do we develop grit? First, by um, interest. Kailangan meron tayong interest. Yun nga, kailangan interesado tayo sa bagay na ito. Yun yung passion. Okay? Our way, our thinking. And then, yung interest na ito, ipuput natin siya into an action. So, pa-practice natin to Paulit-ulit natin itong gagawin. That's already the perseverance. And then, um, kailangan, it won't end there. Yung sa action na yan. Kailangan, 
may purpose tayo. Bakit ba natin ito ginagawa? Then after that, meron din dapat itong hope. Okay? So, this, um, this illustration was explained by Angela Duckworth. So, if you have read that also, yung book niyang Grit. So, yun. Um, if you remembered, some of you have answered nga a survey, a short grit scale. And let's see the results. Based on survey, 68.6% of students or reviewees have an average level of grit. Only 8.6% have higher level of grit, while 22.9% have less than an average level of grit. So, how is grit related to your mental health? Or what, what does the results mean? So, higher levels of grit are associated with greater self-control. Mas maganda rin yung inyong mental well-being mas satisfied kayo sa life ninyong meron kayo, mas nakakapag-cope up kayo, you have resilience, meron kayong growth mindset, and there's a tendency for you to have a lower, uh, for you to perceive stress on a lower level. So, in addition, grittier individuals believe that their skills and abilities will improve with hard work. And grittier individuals are also less likely to experience some mental health um, issues like depression, anxiety, and stress. So gritty individuals are more likely to realize that life is meaningful and tend to maintain perseverance and passion in order to achieve their long-term goals. While it's important for you to note that your grit is not stable. So, kung ano man yung mga lumabas na result based from the short grit scale, hindi yun permanent. Because your grit can grow, but it could also regress. So, otherwise, nga, choose for it to grow. Choose growth. So, how do we develop our grit? How do we develop grit? Um, positive self-talk. Firstly, um, fixed mindset versus growth mindset. Kailangan um, mas matatag, uh, kailangan meron tayong growth mindset rather than having a fixed mindset. Like for example, saying, hindi ko na, hindi ko na to kaya, ganyan, ganyan. Rather than saying that, you could tell naman na um, I can do better than this. Okay? So, yun yung tinatawag natin um, growth mindset. So, pa-practice natin dapat yun. And practicing this aren't based from how we say these things positively, but on how we perceive having a positive growth mindset. Next is having a positive attitude and persistence. So, ito naman, di naman kailangan na Pag sinabi natin, positive ka, kailangan maganda na lang lagi yung nangyayari. So, this one, to yung kahit sobrang pangit na yung nangyayari, nakukuha mo pa rin tingnan yung mga magagandang bagay kesa sa mag-focus ka sa mga negative na bagay. So, that's that one. Next is start solving smaller problems first. So, ang tendency kasi, kaya nagkakaroon ng mga tao ng suicidal ideation or attempt is because they feel like they cannot already solve their problems. But um, it's important for us to understand that a baby step could still be a progress. So start it by, by, by solving these problems to the smallest or to the lowest level. Then, sanga ka na lang umakyat -akyat pa. Also, Reward yourself for hard work and delayed gratification. You could treat yourself. Um, 
you could motivate also yourself, give yourselves rewards. It could be um, financial rewards or non-financial rewards. So you could also reward yourself based on your performance. Next, you acknowledge and work on your strengths. Focus ka dun sa mga strengths mo rather than looking at your weaknesses. But this doesn't mean that we should already um, uh, parang avoid our weaknesses. You could strive to improve your specific weaknesses because our weaknesses can soon also be our strength with passion and perseverance. Also, know the whys before the what of a particular task. What does this mean? So, we often fail to uh, inspire others or motivate ourselves because we don't share the relevance of why we are doing it. Sometimes, diba, we, we end up not finishing our task because we first ask ourselves what to do rather than why should we do it. For example, sa pagre-review, you don't ask uh, you don't ask what you do, which is, yun nga, yung magre-review ka. But you should ask yourselves, why are you reviewing? So it could be because this is for your professional or your personal growth. Diba? And then, next, always remember that even if there are setbacks, this shouldn't stop you from trying again. Because um, the road of life is rocky. Hindi naman to always straight eh. So that, we should look at it as that one. So always remember to hold the grip of your grits. And if possible, as long as you can, uh, do not let go. So it's fine for you sometimes to loosen up a bit for you to take rest or so. But try not giving up. Okay? Your grit will serve as your weapon, not directly, not to directly achieve your goals, but to help you go on along the tangles in reaching your goals. So now there are a lot of ways to survive staying at home, but the most most effective of all is your own style. Hindi naman kailangan na na gawin mo tong step by step na ito, but the the point is you should be creative and resourceful in surpassing every challenge you face day by day. May pa ba kayo? Yes po. Okay. 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 Sorry. So, yan. Um going back, yun nga, we don't live kasi we don't live just because our life is in, in our favor. Kasi hindi naman ganun talaga yun. Kasi paano, for example, kung hindi pa pabor sa'yo yung buhay. Kaya nga minsan, di ba, pag ayaw natin yung nangyayari, sinasabi natin, sana matapos na to. Pero kapag gusto naman natin yung mga nangyayari, sinasabi natin, sana hindi na to matapos. So, yun. Um, let us not romanticize that life is perfect because it will always it can give you a false hope kapag yun yung sasabihin mo sa sarili nun. Kasi hindi naman totoo yun. So, at least, um, kahit hindi ganun kaganda nga yung buhay na meron tayo, itong mga challenges na ito, yung rason kung bakit patuloy pa rin tayong um, bumabangon para ma-achieve natin yung gusto natin sa buhay. Pero dapat, huwag natin kalimutan yung sarili natin sa bawat pagtahap ng mga goals natin sa buhay. So, don't forget to have also a me time. Okay? So, yan. The me time, based on your results, 88.6% um, among you have a me time, while 11.4% doesn't have a me time. Pero ano nga ba kasi itong me time na ito? So, because most of the time, we have a me time or time for ourselves because of physical distancing. The more that we are, uh, the more that we have more time. And 
the more that we should have more time on focusing with ourselves. That's why we have to know about self-care. So how do we take care of our own selves? First is to know your worth. Know your worth as a person um, and that know that you have worth. So the moment you believe you have worth is also the moment you will start to have a self-respect. And by having self-respect, there's a lesser chance for you to blame yourself why things happen just, just as it is. So, lalo na lalo na kapag negative yung naiisip mo. Kasi, di ba, paano mo aalagaan yung sarili mo kung wala ka namang pakialam sa sarili mo? Tsaka, paano mo re-respetuhin yung buhay na meron ka kung sa tingin mo, wala kang silbe or halaga as a person. So, here are some self-care tips. First, um, stick to your routine. Um, there's nothing much to change, dapat naman. And if you would change it, change it slowly para hindi ka mabigla. So, if you sleep, you sleep. You wake up, wake up. You read, then you read. Di naman kailangan may total change talaga eh. So, secondly, take care of your physical health. Given na yan, um, stay hydrated, eat healthy food, and also exercise. Third is for you to reach out also other people. So, staying at home doesn't, um, <coughs> doesn't limit you to have connection with other people. So, you can still stay connected with your most comfortable persons like your families or your friends you can reach them online but you limit also your social need limit your conversation about COVID-19 kasi yun may iniiwasan kasi natin di ba ayaw natin magkaroon tayo ng mag-create tayo ng fear at saka ng anxiety among others so Yun nga, kasi yung information is often um, sensationalized and also negatively skewed. And minsan, masyado siyang alarmist. So yun, this doesn't mean that you don't need to, ano naman, to check on the news. Of course, you also have to be informed. But it's important that we only check news or uh, we only check the news on a trusted or credible sources. Fourth is, don't stress over what you cannot control. Like, for example, itong COVID na ito. Um, but it doesn't also mean na kailangan magpaka-complacent tayo. We just follow what um, follow to have a proper hygiene, ganito, para safe din tayo physically. So, yun, do not stress, do not be stressed masyado sa mga nangyayari. Okay. Fifth is could also develop a self-care toolkit. Ito um pinagawa ko kasi to sa mga students ko before and I think it's really um effective for them. According to a psychologist, Margie Donlon, a lot of successful self-care strategies involve a sensory component. Yung pag paggamit ng ating senses like Touch, taste, sight, hearing, smell, movement. So, papakita ko sa inyo, as you could see, here is a um, self-care toolkit. I call this as an intervention kit. So, pwede kayong, like, hindi naman kailangan na box talaga siya. So, dito, maaring merong mga sa loob nito, mga stuff toy. Kasi, di ba, na-activate yung ating... Um, sense of um, touch, ganun. Tapos, mga for some, self-care is also taking good care of your your ang tawag dito? Your face. <laughs> Yun. Diba? Being beautiful can also um, help you boost your self-esteem. So, itong box na ito, you could develop this. Pero, it's only optional naman. Pero the, the, the good thing here, lahat ng mga bagay that can, can comfort you as a person, pwede mong ilagay dito sa self-care toolkit na yan. 
Okay. Next is for for you to lower your expectations and also practice radical self acceptance. So we are we are doing many things, de ba? As of the moment, and we are under fear and stress. And setting high standards doesn't does not make a standard formula for excellence. So this means accepting everything about yourself your current situation, and your life without question, blame, or pushback. So we are, we are truly doing the best we can, but, but you don't have to compare yourselves to other people. Kasi as long as you feel that it's best for you, okay na yun. Okay? Seven, um, do not be in a hurry. Kasi you are not in a race, lalo na sa sitwasyong napaka-uncertain na meron tayo ngayon. Because we are all facing the same naman. So, yun. Kasi lumabas din sa results na some of you are pressured, lalong-lalo na sa pagre-review. At saka iniisip yung grades na, na pwedeng, maging, uh, pwedeng lumabas because of online classes. So, yun. Do not be in a hurry about things. And if possible, you try to let your professors understand uh, about your situation. Next is, allow yourselves to look at the good things in the world. Because, lalong-lalo na, this pandemic gives us a negative picture. But even when the virus is contagious, as we know it, remember that Hope is also contagious. Nakakahawa rin naman ang hope. Okay? So, practice to have a positive mind even when the situation is worse. But remember not to, of course, give false hope to other people and even to yourself because this could lead to um, toxic positivity. Ito yung yung masyado nating pinapaniwala yung sarili natin that everything will be fine. Tapos, kapag nangyari siya, um, kapag nangyari ito, kabaliktaran, may tendency na parang feeling natin, failed na tayo as a, failure na tayo as a person. So, yun. Hindi naman, ni lahat ng mga positive words din kasi ay suitable sa mga negative na sitwasyon. Ninth is practice self-help. Initiate relaxation techniques. Um, pwede you can breathe then. Of course, huwag natin kalimutang huminga, no? And you could also, what are other self-help uh, strategies? You could pray or practice mindfulness or yung meditation. Give time for ourselves. Yun na, the me time or have time to reflect also. Um, exercising is also a form of a self-help. Then is, we can also join uh, join support groups. Kasi diba, helping others based from studies can really, parang pinapagaan niya yung loob natin. So, you can also help others in your own ways, but try not to compare your contributions with others because the point is you help as a person. Okay. So, note that these interventions are best when they are individualized. Okay? Um, what is effective for others may not be effective for you. So, hindi mo siya kailang in toto na gayahin yun step by step. Again, you have to be be creative uh, and look at where are the things that makes you feel comfortable and what are the things that are effective for you. So, asking um, experiences from others could also be helpful naman. But again, um, your own pace is the most effective way. I mean, you don't have to follow exactly na the tips because we cope up differently naman. And, um, ito pa, being real about yourselves is the most genuine of all. 
Kasi kapag too much tayong conscious sa mga pinaggagawa natin, it could it could be um, unhealthy for us as a person. So, just simply be real as a person. Just be true to yourself and for yourself. So, lastly, be reminded that mental health is for all. Ito, kailangan natin itong um, isipin talaga na ang mental health ay para sa lahat. Kasi as much as we want to think about how healthy we are as a person, mentally, physically, and all that, let us also do the same thing to other people. Ba? So, hindi naman kailangan na we have to take care of their mental health. I mean, we should, pero hindi naman yun required na ipakita natin na inaalagaan natin sila. Pero at least, dapat protektahan natin sila from experiencing drastic events. So, if we know that a certain act may affect other people negatively, we might as well want to think many times if we're going to push through doing it. For example, if we, we will we'll be flexing our bodies online, although, depende kasi yan sa audience mo eh, some of people may tend to have a low self-esteem because they could see other people posting. So, napipressure din sila. So, it could affect their mental health. What else? If you're going to boast the food that you eat, and then you're going to post it online, wala bang mga natatamaan dyan. So, may tendency na para magkakaroon ng self-pity itong taong ito, or may tendency na i-compare niya yung sarili niya, yung sitwasyong meron siya sa ibang tao. So, although, di ba, it could be a form of self-expression kasi hindi naman natin may iwasan na meron at meron pa rin sasabihin yung ibang tao sa atin. But, I do not say na hindi pwede na gawin yun. Okay? Because again, that is a form of self-expression. Pero, we might as well want to think many times before we would do not exactly these things, but the things that may affect um, other the mental health of a person. Okay. So, yun. Nakikita natin kung gaano ka-complex talaga yung mga bagay. Kung nakikita nyo, um, parang nagsasabi ako ng mga tips on how to survive, pero marami siyang mga bots. Marami siyang mga, mga kumbaga, mga bagay that you should also consider before doing this. Kasi, it's important for us to understand that mental health, addressing mental health doesn't actually have uh, a concrete formula. Nasa sa atin ito. On our own pace, it's the most effective of all. Being creative, being resourceful. So, it's a matter of weighing things. Um, kasi again, wala naman talagang concrete formula about it. So, Ayon, um, do not just be reactive about the things that we are facing. If possible, let's try not to be compulsive. Let's practice having a self-control. So, again, most important about um, surviving at home um, is to not just simply stay at home, okay? Because it can only protect your physical health. Pero paano naman yung mental health natin. So, think about the grit na sinabi ko sa inyo na kahit sobrang dami natin mga, mga problema ang hinaharap, nakukuha pa rin natin bumangon. Mag-isip ng mga ways kung paano tayo bumangon. Because we have this passion, we also have a perseverance to do the things that we want to do in life. Not only for ourselves, but for others even. And also, remember not to only think about others. You also have to take care of your own selves. Because yung self-love na ito, um, ina-explain ito na bago tayo matutong magmahal sa ibang tao, kailangan matutong muna tayong mahalin yung sarili natin. So, more, more than that is the self-care. So, I guess that ends my discussion. I hope um, marami kayong natutunan. Thank you so much.
Thank you Thank so you much. ABC for you. your wonderful insights. Indeed, it's important. It's important that we go beyond reviewing or preparing for our uh, licensure exam, technical knowledge. Now. It's also important that we focus on our data center. So before we proceed to the roundtable discussion, let's have first another raffle drop. We are using an electronic tool to automatically draw the winner. So are you ready, guys? <laughs> so our winner will receive a Grab Food gift yeah. certificate. And she is no other than Miss Gwyneth Vea Oliver of NBS College. Miss Gwyneth, are you there? Please say hi to our chat box. Hi. Congratulations. Please keep in touch for you to get your prize. Now, may I call on to join with me, my fellow Premier Ambassadors, in the roundtable discussion. So, ML, JA, DA, and SM. JL and SM. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Miss ABC. Hello, Paul. Yes, um, a question. Um, my question po is, um, ano po yun? Ako po, ako po kasi, ay yung taong parang more into personal interaction. And then now po kasi, yung mga tao na pinagkakatibulaan ko, na makausap. Due to, um, wala sila internet connection. Pan kanina po dapat sabihin yung mga yung mga nararamdaman ko kayo na negative. Kasi parang lahat po nung sinabi nyo, tama po siya. Actually, nafe-feel ko po siya. Pero, minsan ang hirap po niyang ma-apply. There is no perseverance, only passion. Mm -hmm. Ano po yun? <laughs> mm -mm. Okay, so maybe you are the type of person na um, hindi, hindi mabilis mag-trust, tama ba, sa iba? Or am I right? Oh, or hindi oh. naman. Okay. So, how about your family? Do you consider your family para pag-openan mo sila ng ano? Um, actually po, I'm not living with my family. Ah, okay. You're in your dormitory? Um, yes po. Ah, okay. So, yun no, mahirap talaga kasi wala tayong um, way on how to connect to them. Pero... Um, yun nga, kailangan natin to reach out other people. Meron naman tayong mga um, available na volunteers online who are ready to reach out sa atin kapag may mga problema tayo. Kasi, di ba, mahirap kasi kapag masyado nating sinasarili yung problema natin. May mga tendency na uh, wag naman sana, no, na gumawa tayo ng mga negative na bagay. So, yun. Um, remember na itong mga taong I, I understand that there is a gap to the people that surrounds you. Baka rin naman may mga taong ready na makinig sa'yo. Thank you po. So, hi po. Hello, Arlene. Um, Hi, bali, ba? Jed po. Um, bali, my question. Hi, Jed. Since most of us is students kasi right now is having difficulty talaga on giving self-review. So, there are any Uh -oh. para mas pabuti po yung pag-review ng isa. Ang pag-review ng mag-isa. Um, personally, ako, um, nag-self-review din ako when I took the board. Uh, hindi ko lang na for the CPA years, no, because I I took psychometrician. Pero what I did was I was reading books talaga. It's my way um, to review. Pero again, hindi lahat ng mga mga okay sa akin or effective sa akin may be effective for you. So you may want to try na parang at this point of time, itry mo to. Kung effective siya, then go on. Pero pag hindi, pwede kang gumawa or or tawag dito, parang pwedeng mag-try ka ng iba pang mga strategy on how to review. But but 
the things that you should um, do also is for you to have a time management. Okay, prioritize the things that you should do first before yung mga bagay-bagay na hindi naman gaanong important or that are least important. Sige pa. Thank you pa. Okay. Ako na po, ma'am. Si Arwin. Arwin here. Uh, okay. Hello, Arwin. Good evening po. Uh, good evening good. sa mga participants natin. Uh, yung tanong ko naman po para sa, ano, um, for the kids, yung sa mga participants natin ngayon na may kasamang bata sa bahay. Yung mga bata mm-hmm. po, paano sila? Kasi may, may mga times din, ah, syempre yung mga bata gusto rin mabas, nalulungkot tayo sa bahay. So, mm-hmm. um, paano po kaya may, may ha- ma-handle yung mga bata na how how to cheer them up how to ano uh, how to assure them tips lang mm-hmm. siguro okay um ang maganda ngayon some of our provinces were already lifted up na yung uh, community quarantine which which are already facing with general community quarantine so most probably pwede nang i ilabas kahit man lang sana diba sa sa ang tawag dito sa harap lang ng bahay ganyan for them to to experience pa rin yung sun kasi it makes us healthy as a child pa rin naman eh or kung meron silang mga garden ganyan kaso nga lang ang mahirap kasi dito hindi naman tayo lahat pare-parehas ng mga economic status some of us nga uh, meron tayo sa mga ano lang eh, natutulog lamang tayo sa lansangan, which we do not know. Tapos wala tayong access internet din. Walang mga mga resources, kumbaga. So, sana um, makita ito ng mga government, yung mga taong um, may kailangan ng assistance nila. But for those naman na uh, on their own homes, pwede din naman na i-practice pa rin natin yung relationship natin towards our children. Okay? Practice natin yun. Huwag natin kalimutan na nakausapin pa rin natin itong mga batang ito. Kasi just as alam natin meron tayo mga problema ang hinaharap, itong mga batang ito dapat hindi pa rin sila napag-iiwanan. Okay? So, kausapin natin sila. Hindi yung uh, masyado natin sila parang ito o oh, gadget, bahala ka na dyan. Uh, wag natin kalimutan yung mga bata na alagaan din natin sila. So, that would depend on how, again, kung paano yung strategy natin as parents or bilang kapatid, kung paano natin sila alagaan. Thank you. Hi, ma'am. I also have a question po regarding Talk. You mentioned mm-hmm. about uh, it's best than self-care is individualized, but of course, things with the beings, uh, we also tend to think of our friends as individuals. So, question number is, how can we help our friends start with self-care and without resorting to toxic masculinity? Na choppy ata. Sorry. How can we help our friends for struggling with self-care and without resorting to toxic masculinity? Um, the most important, if I heard it right, ano, how can we help um, our friends without without struggling with, struggling with their problems? Without resorting to toxic positivity. Oo, na hindi nila na-experience ang toxic positivity. Um, usually naman, the reason why we open up is because we only want to be heard. So, if we do not know what we are going to say for us not to resort this toxic positivity, let us just simply listen. I-acknowledge natin yung sinasabi ng kaibigan natin, i-validate natin yung feelings nila. Yan. Thank you, Puma. Okay. Hello, Miss Ab. ABC. May question din po ako. Yes po. Uh, a lot of people are telling that we uh, during this ECQ we are prone to anxiety. Now my question is how to manage anxiety during ECQ? Um, managing it would again not have a concrete formula because it would depend on a certain person how can this person 
cope up ba? Gano'n ba siya kalakas? Gano'n ba kalakas yung kanyang resiliency? Um, things like yun, breathing. Uh, it could help us lessen our anxiety um, by managing, by taking care also of our physical health could also lessen our anxiety. Pero yung mga interventions na kasi, especially kapag if it talks about our mental well-being already, kailangan nasa tao na yun. Kailangan kausapin natin yung taong yun. Tingnan natin kung gaano siya kalakas to do this thing na so again, yun na, hindi naman lahat ng mga ng mga solusyon na sasabihin ko eh kaya nitong person na ito or walang available resources. So, yun. Kailangan the person should be creative enough um, to resolve things. So, rather than that, kailangan um, this person should also reach out other people. Kasi minsan, yung anxiety natin, um, hindi naman tayo sigurado kung dahil ba ito sa, sa pandemic or kung meron pa bang ibang mga factors. But the good thing there is yung parang willing tayo to tell it to somebody we trust. And in that case, good lesson our anxiety, especially kapag alam natin na napapakinggan tayo as a person. Thank you po. So hello guys. Uh, let's uh, let's not. And now I uh, will proceed to Q and A. So we will still have ten minutes to answer your questions. So let's read some from the chat box. So Miss ABC, we already have the questions. Mm -mm. So. Uh, the first question is coming from Ray Mark Liagas. Mm -hmm. uh, his question is, if the grip comes with obsession, is mm -hmm. it a bad thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, kasi grit, diba, again, involves or is composed of passion and perseverance. Kapag yung ating passion is already parang having we are, we are already obsessed about doing this thing may tendency kasi na unhealthy ito para sa atin so of course too much obsession is a bad thing already um, i would like to remind that the first participants who ask questions win one month netflix subscription for five users so let's proceed proceed to the second question the second question is coming from Raymark Yagas again. Miss mm -hmm. ABC, his it uh, according to Raymark Yagas, is there a standard is there a standardized test to measure grit since we have different mm -hmm. perspective on achievement? Mm -hmm. Um the book from Angela Duckworth has their uh, a short grit scale and if it it is of course standardized but it doesn't measure the the grit as a whole pero i'm not sure if there are um available tests standardized tests uh on some sci, uh ang dito, mga psych centers natin pero i think meron naman okay thank you miss abc so that uh the third question po is, uh, Good evening po. I just want to ask for a recommendation, ma'am. I'm a senior high school guidance in charge po. Then I am just concerned about my client in school wherein they are identified with suicidal ideation. Is it okay to reach out po or hindi na lang po since they are not reaching on me? For sure po, they, have a, they, they are hesitant to talk. Do you have any recommendation po, ma'am? Thank you. Okay. Um, if there is already an attempt of the person, it is considered as urgent. So if it already talks about life, there is a need to move. So sino ba ang pwedeng mga uh, mag-reach out sa taong ito? A person, uh, a professional can can 
can reach out this person. Pero, um, based on our laws, only psychologists can reach out these um, clients. Hindi po pwede, lalong-lalo na kapag mga um, mga non-licensed na professionals kasi baka hindi nila alam yung gagawin nila. So, I think it would be better for for you to refer the client to the professional. Pero, you should also do things already. Like, yun nga, you should also reach to this person to ask this person if she feels comfortable about it. Kasi, yun eh, buhay na talaga yung pinag-uusapan natin. Kailangan pa parang ngayon na, as in ngayon na talaga, gumawa na tayo ng, ng way para ma-stop yung suicidal attempt ng batang ito. Uh, Miss ABC, the next question is coming from Regine. Uh, she said, Hello ma'am, pwede po bang magtanong kung totoong Pwede po bang magtanong kung totoong nalulungkot tayo ng walang dahilan? Mm. Kung nalulungkot tayo ng walang dahilan, siguro meron at meron pa rin. May mga reason, siguro hindi lang natin alam kung bakit tayo nalulungkot maaring dahil nalilito tayo or nabibigatan na tayo sa mga bagay-bagay to the point na hindi na natin alam yung rason. So there will always be a reason sa mga behind our feelings, yung mga feelings na feel natin or our emotions, may mga rason ito kung bakit natin ito nararanasan. So, have time to reflect for you to understand. Okay. Thank you po, Miss ABC. Ito po yung next question. Uh, from MJ Halosos. Hello po. I am learning psychology outside of my track field in order to shift once I hit college. Any advice po for learning? Uh, I'm sorry? Paano? I am learning psychology outside of my track field mm -hmm. in order to shift once I hit college. Any advice po for learning? Okay. Um, there are available books. If you would really want to pursue taking up psychology, Hello, welcome to our field. So, yun, there are books naman available online which are free. You could also start by, by reading the theories of personality for you to better understand how behaviors are, are like this, like that, parang ganun. Okay. Thank you, Miss ABC. Uh, another question po galing kay Gwyneth. How to motivate someone to study during this quarantine? For some who has the resources and also for someone who has not. Okay. So, motivation kasi, uh, that's more of an internal feeling. Eh. Um, it would depend on how you would tell yung reward after. Kung itong taong ito, the purpose why he or she is pursuing uh, the review is for uh, for him or her to pass para or para masuklian niya yung yung mga sak yung, ito, yung mga hirap niya okay so pwede naman so ibig sabihin more of an internal ito so pwede naman na sabihin natin or reiterate natin yon na Parang, let's remind this person na, okay, ginagawa mo to para matulungan mo yung pamilya mo, maaring ganun. Or pwede din naman na i-motivate natin yung person based from sa mga, anong tawag dito, yung mga material na, na bagay. Like, for example, kasi iba't iba tayo ng way on how to be motivated. Eh. Yung iba kasi non-material while yung iba more of a material. Pwedeng itong, kung material, pwedeng, okay, kapag nakapasa ka, bibigyan kita ng ganyan. Well, sometimes it is funny to think yung mga material na bagay, pero it happens din kasi. Kasi we all have our own ways on how we accept itong motivation na ito. 
Uh, okay, thank you, Miss ABC. Uh, I'm so sorry, everyone, but as much as we want to entertain all questions, we ran out, we ran out of time. Please message us in the chat box of your other questions and we will share all Q&As together with the presentation material to the email you provided during your presentation. So at this point, we would like to award this certificate of appreciation to ABC. Let me just read the citation. This certificate of appreciation is presented to Alexandria Blake K. Real for imparting her valuable insights and inspiration to students and reviewers during the Mental Health Awareness Webinar entitled Read and Self-Care, How to Survive at Home. Given this 26th of April, 2020, Signed, Paul Michael C. Jaramillo, CPA Reviewer, CPA Review Director of Outlier, Paul Cedric C. Sigian, External Affairs Officer of Google. Again, ABC, thank you so much for sharing your insights. Thank you. Thank you. So, ML? Um, tomorrow, we will send you a survey for us to, to get your feedback from this event. And those feedback will be helpful for us to shape our future events such as this. For those who, do, for those who would like to, to get an e-certificate, please email your request to premierpdc at gmail.com. The instructions are in your script. Thank you. So thank you, ML. Obviously, you have a PH is inviting you to like their Facebook page and one of their productions. Please also follow at Voice Points on Twitter and Instagram and like its Facebook page. You can look at you can look at it in your screen. In behalf of Premier, thank you for joining us today. And if you want to learn more, uh, you can like our Premier Facebook page and you can ask questions to our Twitter account at Ask Premier. And en enrollment is currently ongoing for the October 2020 CPA Board Examination. We're currently providing corporate discounts on our CPA review program to, to public accounting firms so like Benati, Ortigas, Tasig, and Par Paranaque. Messages on Facebook if you want to know more about this offer. So thank you, JL. We are also providing discounts all, to all supposed May 2020 pay exams. And in light of this pandemic, our leadership has also discounted our mobile app to provide our enrollees communication allowance to be used when accessing our platform. Again, guys, stay tuned for more updates. Again, thank you everyone for the time. We hope that you learned a lot from this webinar. Good night. See you at Premier and experience the new normal. Thank you, guys. Very good. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Great users received updates from our professionals. Thank you, guys. Thank you for our podcast with new music class and get access to your performance. Thank you so much for. Thank you so much for. Salamat po ng marami. For those God bless po. Thank you. God bless everyone. Thank you. Good night po. Stay safe. Stay safe po. Still have few oh, hours of our materials and still take three board examinations on that. What makes Premier different is our coaching sessions. Through our review performance analytics, coaches advise their reviews. Through their sessions with the coaches, their reviews may seek guidance, whether career development, self-development, or technical. For career development coaching, we have supervisors and managers in their respective companies. We are focused on helping our reviews build a career plan. 
Yes, good career plans and life lessons that will get us through this challenging career phase. So, what's the process of our coaching session? Okay, so later on then, you will be asked to pick your top three preferred coaches. And if the family or team of your first choice is full already, you will then be assigned to your second choice as coach, and so on. Then, with our mobile app, you are able to book your own session and pick the schedule of your choice. The sessions are conducted in premium. We know you are excited. We can't wait to see you. How do I clean my dentures? I've been wearing dentures for 20 years. I learned that dentures are 10 times softer than natural teeth. I was introduced to cleaning.
soaking dentures in water is not enough to kill bacteria, causing bad breath.